Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with one more video of the Asia Cup, and today we're going to cover up the squad analysis of Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a very, very talented team right now. In the last three to four years, in both the formats, the T20 as well as the ODI format, they have got a lot of revolutions, a lot of match winners, a lot of experience, a lot of famous cricketers in this side. And this time, we're going to cover up them participating in the Asia Cup. Firstly, as we all are covering up the records for the Bangladesh, they haven't won the Asia Cup since the time they started participating in 1984. Rather, 1986, they have started participating with. The highest they have gone into is second sometime. In 2012, 2016 and 2018, they have come in second. But they haven't won the Asia Cup yet. This is the year they can really, really target the title because they have a very, very good squad. They have youth, they have experience, they have talent, everything surrounded a team of Bangladesh. All they need is patience and a little of using their brains at the right moment. That's all the Bangladesh team needs and here is the, the records of Bangladesh. We will slowly and steadily go up with the squad analysis of Bangladesh. Stay tuned. Alright, for the squad of Bangladesh. We're covering up all the departments. The first one is the batsman, that is Sabi Rahman. Among the wicket keepers, they have Mushfiq Ur Rahim, Anamul Haq, Nurul Hassan Suhan, and Parvez Hussain. Among the bowlers, they have Mustafiz Ur Rahman, Ibadat Hussain, Taskin Ahmed, Nasum Ahmed, Hassan Mahmood. And among the all rounders, they have the captain Saki Hassan, Mamadullah. Afif Hassan, Musadek Hussain, Mehdi Hassan, Mehdi Hassan Miraz, and Mohammad Shaifuddin. So, as I said, they have this team. The team of Bangladesh is almost similar to the team of Afghanistan. They rely on the all-rounders and the spinners, and exactly this is the team that Bangladesh has picked with their talent. Um, I'm really liking the bowlers. They have the likes of Mustaf, Zurrahman, who is back in the side. Ibadat Hussain, he's been a very, very talented bowler for Bangladesh lately. He has um, uh, he has rocked in, um, in outside Asia as well, to different countries like New Zealand and other countries as well. And Tusky Ahmed as well. So they have very, very three talented fast bowlers. Among the odd rounders as well as I can see many match winners as well. With this, it's the squad of Bangladesh. This, we are going to one by one cover up all the departments uh, for Bangladesh and the team. Stay tuned. So the first department we are going to cover up is the batsman department. And we have two talented batsmen in my opinion. One is Sabi Rahman and the other is Mohammad Naim. Two very talented batsmen. I really high rate high Sabi Rahman in my opinion. And the other is Mohammad Naim as I said. So, Mohamed Naeem is a left-handed batsman. He's a very, very young batsman and very skillful batsman. So, I rate these two openers. These two will be my openers in the team. Very, very talented one. And I back them. I, I expect Sabir Rahman to play throughout the innings. And um, while Mohamed Naeem should stick in and be the supporter or he can he can be the floater in this side. If he gets a quick start of, in the power play around 45 to 50, he can be that kind of player. These two will be my, my openers in the Bangladesh side for the batting department. And then we will follow it up with the all-rounders and the wicketkeeper's side. With this, I am done with the batsman department. These two batsmen are very skillful. Players to watch out for will be Sabi Rahman, one of them from this side. So with this, we are done with the batsman department. Let's follow up the next with the wicketkeepers. The next department which we are covering up is the wicket keeping department. And as I said, the first name that is going to be is Mushfiq Rahim. Very experienced, a very good batsman and has to take responsibility. He's not the captain, Shakib is the captain. But I expect Mushfiq Rahim to bat at either number 4 or number 5. I feel he's going to bat at number 5. Uh, Shakib is going to go at number 4. So I feel Mushfiq Rahim has to take uh, has to be the match winner for uh, Bangladesh. He has to stay there. He has to, he has the talent of accelerating when required according to the situation, just like Shakib has. 
they have many good talented uh, players in the side as well and i feel that mushfiq rahim will um will be the player to watch out for one of the players to watch out for in the bangladesh side he is a very good wicket keeper and the others the other wicket keepers are anamul haq nurul hasan and parvez hussain i think they are going to be there as a reserves um i i they might try anamul haq as an opener if required but the rest two will be as reserves in my opinion in the bangladesh side if required they will uh, chip in but uh, i won't be surprised to see the rest three not getting chances in the 11 but mushfiq rahim has to play throughout the innings uh, throughout the asia cup as well as he will definitely be in the world cup flight as well but unless any injuries he has to take responsibility and get uh, bangladesh side up and running as i said this is the best opportunity for bangladesh to um, get some get the best results out of the tournament because they have a fantastic side they are very balanced side and i really uh, hope they do something um, this time around if not second at least reach the finals with this we are done with the uh, well, uh, wicket keeper slot we're going to go out with the all rounder slot now all right so the next department we are covering up is the all rounders department as that going to be led by shakib al hasan the captain of bangladesh and as i said full of experience has match reading sense has a lot of experience a very talented he's going to lead the bangladesh side in my opinion he's got a bad number 4 if i'm not wrong he may chip in at number 3 as well so it depends on adjusting the side then you have mamadullah another very very talented player Uh, he is going to be there at the number 5 slot he is going to be the finisher in the side along with afif hussain he is another batsman who is 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 a strike player and he can also chip in there um so these two players mohammadullah and afif hussain has to be the at the end being the sloggers so these two will be in my their playing 11 along with shakib hussain the three all rounders the fourth one i have i'm rating very high is mehdi hassan too much experience and right arm off spinner and he can bat as well lower down the order and he is very very experienced so mehdi hasan will be my fourth all rounder so they are going to play with four all rounders in the playing 11 and the others musaddiq hussain i i also feel mohammad saifuddin he can also play in the 11 instead of afif afif hussain is anyone among the two who can get an opportunity alongside musaddiq hussain and um Uh, Mehdi Hasan Miraj. So it's any. There are too many talented all-rounders in the side, but I'm rating four out of these who will be there at the genuine playing eleven. But the onus is very much on Shakib and Mamadullah to take responsibility and get the team over the line. And with this, we are done with the all-rounders department. And the last department we are going to cover up is the batsmen, uh, bowlers. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, the last department is the bowlers department. It's going to be Mustafizur Rahman, Ibadat Hossein, Taski Ahmed, Nasu Ahmed, and Mohammad Mahmud. Five bowlers, and in my opinion, the first three names are genuine fast bowlers and genuine experience. Mustafizur Rahman, a proper T20 bowler, who's going to play throughout the Asia Cup. One more player to watch out for in my eleven. Ibadat Hossein has been. rock solid in the last one year or so for bangladesh a big height bowler has a lot of talent is getting experience as well and you have taski namath you've heard of this name a lot he's going to be there and my 11 i feel if um, this is the three bowlers who are also going to go for the world cup bangladesh has to start with three bowlers at the world cup these three are my bowlers in the playing 11 but if they go with two bowlers in the asia cup i won't be surprised I feel they have to go with uh, Mustafizur Rahman and Taski Ahmed as he has the experience in the side. So Mustafizur and Taski Ahmed will be my um, in my playing eleven along with Ibadat Hussain. But um, walk talking about the other two bowlers, I don't think they are going to be there at the playing eleven. They can chip in if they are required if any injuries or something concerns. But these three bowlers are genuinely going to be in my playing eleven for the Asia Cup. With this, I'm done with the bowlers department. I'm also done with the video. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for chipping in. And once again, we are done with the squad analysis of Bangladesh this time. We have one more video left for Sri Lanka, which we are going to cover up tomorrow. 
and with this we are done with this squad do like share and comment and have a wonderful week ahead all the best thank you